Hello and welcome back to AI Beyond Borders. In this video, we're going to discuss some hacking techniques used by hackers that everyone should know. These techniques can be used to gain access to personal or sensitive information, and it's important to be aware of them to protect yourself from potential cyber attacks. 1. Password Guess Password guessing is a pretty straightforward hacking technique that involves trying different combinations of usernames and passwords to gain access to a system or account. It's one of the oldest and most basic methods of hacking, but it's still pretty effective because many people still use weak and easily guessable passwords. Hackers who use password guessing will often rely on common passwords or known passwords associated with their target, such as the name of their pet or the year they were born. They may also use automated tools that can try millions of different combinations of passwords in a matter of minutes. The good news is that protecting against password guessing attacks is pretty easy if you take some basic precautions. For starters, it's essential to use strong and unique passwords that are not easily guessable. This means using a combination of uppercase and lowercase letters, numbers, and symbols, and avoiding obvious passwords like password or 123456. Another way to protect against password guessing is to avoid using the same password for multiple accounts. This way, if one password is compromised, the hacker won't be able to access all your accounts. It's also essential to change your passwords regularly to keep them fresh and less vulnerable to hacking attempts. 2. Keylogger Screen Scraper Keylogging and screen scraping are sneaky tactics used by hackers to steal sensitive information such as usernames, passwords, and financial details. Essentially, keylogging refers to a method of recording every keystroke made on a computer or mobile device, while screen scraping involves capturing everything that appears on a victim's screen. These techniques are often used to gain access to online banking systems, credit card processing systems, and other systems that require sensitive information. Once the hacker has access to this information, they can use it to carry out unauthorized transactions and gain control of the victim's accounts. To protect yourself from key logging and screen scraping attacks, you should be cautious when downloading software from untrusted sources or clicking on suspicious links. Always use antivirus and anti-malware software to detect and remove any malicious software that may be installed on your device. It's also a good idea to use a virtual keyboard when entering sensitive information, such as passwords or credit card numbers. This type of keyboard is a software program that displays a keyboard on the screen which allows you to enter information without using a physical keyboard. By doing this, you can protect yourself against keylogging attacks because the keylogger won't be able to capture keystrokes from the virtual keyboard. Additionally, you should always monitor your accounts and systems for any unusual activity. If you notice anything suspicious, take immediate action to secure your accounts and prevent any further damage. 3. Shoulder Surfing The concept is simple. Someone looking over your shoulder as you enter sensitive information like passwords or credit card details. Hackers who use this technique can do it in public places like airports, cafes, or train stations, where people often use their devices for work or personal purposes. The scary part about this is that it can happen so easily without you even realizing it. The person who is shoulder surfing can act very naturally like they are just checking their phone or reading a book, while actually, they are trying to capture sensitive information from people around them. To protect yourself from shoulder surfing attacks, you should always be aware of your surroundings and avoid entering sensitive information in public places. If you must use your device in a public place, try to find a private or less crowded area where you can work without any distractions. Another way to protect yourself is to use a privacy screen or angle your device so that it is difficult for others to see what you are typing. This can make it harder for hackers to capture sensitive information. If you ever notice someone suspiciously hovering around you or lurking over your shoulder, don't be afraid to move to a different location or confront them directly. It's better to be safe than sorry. 4. Social Engineering Social engineering is a deceptive and crafty hacking technique that relies on manipulating people's emotions and trust. It's a form of psychological manipulation that's often used to gain unauthorized access to sensitive information or systems. In short, it's a form of hacking that targets people, not machines. The attackers who use social engineering tactics are skilled at posing as someone they're not. They may pretend to be a friend, a colleague, 
a trusted authority figure, or even a law enforcement officer. They use these personas to gain the victim's trust and trick them into sharing sensitive information or performing actions that they wouldn't otherwise do. One common social engineering tactic is pretexting. In pretexting, the attacker creates a fictional scenario or backstory to get the victim to reveal information that they wouldn't normally share. For example, an attacker might pretend to be an IT support technician and call an employee pretending to help them fix their computer. They'll ask the employee for their login credentials or other sensitive information that they can use to gain access to the company's network. Another social engineering technique is baiting, which involves offering something desirable to the victim in exchange for sensitive information. For example, an attacker might leave a USB drive with a tempting label lying around in a public place. When someone picks it up and plugs it into their computer, malware is installed that can give the attacker access to the victim's computer and any sensitive information on it. To protect yourself from social engineering attacks, it's important to be aware of the tactics that attackers use. Always be cautious when sharing sensitive information, even if the person requesting it seems legitimate. Verify the identity of anyone who asks for sensitive information and don't be afraid to question them or ask for further verification. It's also important to keep your software and security systems up to date to prevent attacks like keylogging and screen scraping. Be wary of unsolicited emails and messages, and avoid clicking on links or downloading attachments unless you're sure that they're safe. So there you have it, four hacking techniques used by hackers that everyone should be aware of. While these techniques can be used for malicious purposes, it's important to remember that knowledge is power, and by being aware of these techniques, you can better protect yourself from potential cyber attacks. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content just like this. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.